Sometimes seat belts just aren't enough to keep you safe during a car accident. Uh, local news aide Caitlin Lukita is joining us live from Pocatello, which looked us into why sometimes a seat belt, something's wrong with the seat belt, why it can actually be more of a risk than a tool. So, what did you learn today? Well, first, it should always go without saying that you should always wear your seatbelts. But a lot of people don't realize that anytime your seatbelt is twisted or there are rips or tears in your seatbelt, well, it's not only uncomfortable, but it could also be almost possibly just as dangerous as not even wearing your seatbelt at all. It only takes less than half a second for an airbag to deploy. A seatbelt alone is not gonna is not enough. And it goes without saying, seatbelts just don't cut it. And so that's why, you know, these cars have come out with the, the supplemental restraint system to help out with the seat belt. Automotive technology instructors Brock Gunter and Dolan Worthington have been looking into car safety and say people forget to regularly check these safety features to make sure they're still working properly. Make sure that the buckle goes in and grab it and pull it and make sure it's locked properly. They say some argue seatbelts can be more detrimental during an accident, but they say that's just not true, especially during rollover accidents. Your body without the seatbelt will naturally migrate towards the ceiling of the car, and that also causes compressed fractures and neck injuries, even will paralyze people. But seatbelts aren't perfect. They say unless your car is made from the skeleton of a race car, which is very uncommon, then the only feature saving you during a side collision accident are the side airbags. But they say even those won't deploy if you don't check to make sure those are working and ready, you know, just in case. And they say, especially with those younger kids, anytime someone's not wearing a seatbelt, combined with that impact of the airbag, that could possibly break someone's neck. But nowadays, a lot of these newer cars have uh, sensors within the seats, so that way, anytime there's less than 40 pounds on that seat, the airbags will, airbags will not deploy. Reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Caitlin Lukitas. Yeah, thank you. Good information, Caitlin. Appreciate that. Thanks, Carol. And beginning September 15th, the Idaho Department of Transportation is going to host its annual Child Passenger Safety Week. That is to remind parents how you keep your kids safe when you're driving. They say from uh, 2009 through 2013, 17 kids in Idaho under the age of seven were killed in car crashes, nine of them, unrestrained, no seatbelt. All right.